When this black demon dies, I will get 91 Slayer and that is enough for Cerberus and it will be really interesting to start doing some Cerberus. I've seen some really good stuff about the boss, you can make some nice profits and it doesn't seem to be that hard either, so let's get into it. Oh nice, I only had to skip one task to get Hellhound and I got almost 150 of them, so that would be quite a lot of Cerberus kills. I am actually going to sell my Dragon Warhammer and I think it should sell for this price, let's see if it does. Well, it does not. Why would the Dragon Warhammer be dropping in price when the raid is coming out? The, uh, whatever it's called, Ash Akshima, whatever. I thought every, like, PVM item would go up. Okay, 49.3. Maybe it's, uh, not useful in the next raid. Some people might speculate. Okay, I'm going to buy a Bludgeon, and then I will have more money left over. My, maybe I'll buy something else as well. It's not selling for 28 mil. Maybe uh, people expect this weapon to be good in the next raid. Uh, so let's see. Okay, 28.4 mil. It is weak to crush server, so that's why I wanted to buy it. This is my inventory that I'm going to use for the first attempt. Uh, I have a super combat potion, a stamina potion just to run here because it's quite a run. Six restores because you have to actually uh, use quite a lot of prayer here. And then rest of it is sharks. So on my first attempt, the spirits really screwed me up. Because if you see on the top right, I have 46 prayer right now when this comes out. And I don't actually fail a prayer flake. But the problem is, they drain 30 of your prayer every single time they do an attack. Even if you pray correctly. So what that means is that if I have full prayer, which is, uh, I'm currently 72. It will just barely be possible for me to do it. Because uh, it will drain 30 prayer from the first one. And then 30 from the second one and that's 60 overall and then if I had full prayer I would only have 12 prayer left and then with that last 12 prayer points I can actually flick the last one but then after that I will have zero prayer left so as you can see it just drains my prayer to zero and then I take the 30 damage because I failed the prayer flick so having higher prayer level would be a huge advantage here or even more importantly have the spectral spirit shield which makes them drain 15 prayer per time instead of the 30 that they do. So on my second attempt of a kill I actually did die because you can see on my prayer yet again it is just getting completely drained because of the spirits and then I get comboed. Actually managed to get a kill. Second kill overall and that is some summer pie drops. I'm still learning and improving. So here you can see that uh, if I pot all the way to almost full prayer, if I prayer flick correctly, I can do it with my prayer right now, but then after that I have no prayer left at all and have to pot and then put the prayer up again, so that is quite a hassle. Honestly, I think the normal drops from Cerberus are very underwhelming so far. If you look in my inventory, I got 12k drop, rune plate body, 20 fire orbs and now 300 fire runes. Just to make this a bit easier, I'm actually going to raise my prayer level up quite a bit. I'm going to buy 3000 dragon bones and I'm going to use them on the wilderness altar. So I have them right here. Also bought burning amulets and ring of wealth so I can just teleport to the lava maze where the altar is very close to. And then bring out coins and unnote the bones and all that. And uh, I should be getting quite a lot of prayer levels from this. I am starting at 72. Let's see where I end. So we get at least 80 prayer. I still have some bones in my uh, bank so I might get 81 or 82 but I also hit very close to 116 combat might get that on the last bones I have dude I don't know why this happened I had some bones left and I got attacked by a guy and then he just logged out I mean I think he thought I was almost done with my trip so he just gave up but he could have had uh, like nine dragon bones noted some coins and uh, some bones left as well but he just left me on 12 HP it's a bit more relaxing now that I have a higher prayer level because as long as I have over 61 prayer points I will be able to flick all of them because the first two will drain 60 prayer and then I still have one prayer point for the last one but um, yeah I still drained all the prayer. If you're going to kill Cerberus and you're completely new to it focus on flicking the prayers on the spirits more than anything else. You can see my HP now I could have been killed by one single fail but I pr prefer to uh, prayer flick instead of eating because if you fail the spirit hits you can get comboed really Really hard with the boss and just get one shot anyways. I think this is the best I can do with this setup now that I've got a bit more into it and I'm not really failing anything anymore. So six kills in one trip is with this setup probably the best I can do. Almost missed it but that is 94 strength and that should be 116 combat. And another level coming in 91 attack. I'm really getting close to max combat here and it feels pretty good. I mean I will get it naturally from just bossing and it's nice to see the levels coming in. Quickly went and finished up 65 agility because now I can summer pie boost all the way to 70 to go through a quicker path there. 
I think I'm going to make a smart choice now and sell my Bandos and just b use Barrow's gear instead because the Bandos gear is uh, not that great at Cerberus to be honest. And you can just buy a Spectral Spirit Shield and every single time the Spirits come they won't drain 90 prayer points. They will drain 45 in total because it goes from 30 per spirit to 15 and with this I'm going to use a Samurakian Hasta and let's see how this works. The reason why I wanted to get 65 uh, agility was to boost and then be able to walk through here just to save like 30 seconds of walking. Before I bought the Hasta I just wanted to try and uh, have a switch with the Spectral Spirit Shield and you can see my prayer now. It doesn't drain barely at all. I mean, it drains, but it's very easy to uh, do the flicks with the Spectral Spirit Shield. But also the DDS switch with Bludgeon was not that great in overall. That's my first Keymaster teleports. It's three of them, and I think the drop rate is 1 in 64. So at 75 kill count is pretty normal. There we go. Now I sold my Bludgeon, and uh, this is my setup now. A Samuraki and Hasta with the Barrow's gear and a Spectral Spirit Shield. And uh, I'm worrying that uh, Samurai and Hasta won't hit that great, but uh, oh, 47, that's a very good start. 17, I mean, the Cerberus boss doesn't really have that good defense, so it's very easy to hit consistently on it. And I think the DDS spec is still a good switch to bring, uh, because then I don't have to wear a two-hand or anything for a special attack like a god sword or anything. So I'm just going to keep doing this, and I have the uh, Samurai and Hasta on the crush, and it seems like I'm actually just shredding the boss. And uh, let's see now, the spirits come, I'm going to uh, pot, and I have 80 prayer points right now, so let's do the switches correctly here, ranged, uh, melee, and magic, and I still have 26 prayer points. So doing this with the spectral spirit shield, and also look at my HP, I haven't ate a single shark yet. So I'm getting more tanky just in general from the boss hits. And I'm hitting consistently, I'm hitting pretty good, I mean, the kills are probably not that much slower than a Abyss Abyssal Bludgeon, and I am taking pretty much no damage, and the prayer is very solid as well with the uh, reduction of drain from the, sp the spirits. I mean, this is another trip, but look at my inventory. I have 5 kills, and I still have this much food. It is pretty insane how tanky I am and how good damage I'm actually doing. And that is the uh, task done. So I've done 149 Cerberus kills with this setup, or 100 and maybe 20 with this setup, and it is great. Now, I didn't get a single rare drop, which means that the loot from Cerberus is actually extremely underwhelming. 149 kills, 3.4 mil. That value is really bad, like really, really bad. And if I do a price check of all the items, it is pretty much the same. So let's sell everything and see if it is that price in GE. For 149 Cerberus kills, the total money I got from the loot was 3.4 mil, and I would say that the uh, supplies probably cost me like 2 mil, I would say. So yeah, if you don't get any rare drops, any of the crystals from Cerberus, it is terrible, like really really terrible loot. Um, so the consistent money is not good at all, and therefore I'm going to sell my Spectral Spirit Shield and my Hasta because I'm probably not going to do more Cerberus in the near future. Maybe if I want to get uh, some of the big money I will do it, or if I want to get the pet or anything like that, but for consistent money I would not really think Cerberus is that great. But that's going to do it for this video, it was nonetheless extremely enjoyable to kill Cerberus for the first time, it was a very nice learning experience, and by the way, I showed in the beginning of this clip, I bought the, uh, what are they called, they're called Primordial Boots, because they are actually really really good, they might be even better than buying Bandos, so that's why I sold my Bandos gear and I just bought the Primordials and I still have a lot of money left over, but I hope you guys did enjoy the video, if you did please leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one guys, take care.